Hey guys, before the video begins, I would like to make a very important announcement in regards to a new channel made by a friend of mine, Kelly Productions. He has created a new channel named The Watch. It's a channel dedicated to making superhero films and miniseries of a new universe that has been created and named The Watch. And the first film is out right now. If you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or even on this very channel, you know I've spoken about a film that's been involved that I've been involved with. Well, this is it. The Midnight Warden. I'd highly appreciate it if you guys subscribed to this channel, liked the video, turned on notifications, and shared this film with your friends so we can make more films in the future. The more awareness of our films, the more we can make. You can find a link to the channel in the description below of this video, or click on my channel and go to the section channels, and it will be there as we speak. And with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoy today's video. What is going on, everybody? My name is Zella Prince, and welcome back to yet another reacting video. Now, today I have a backrooms video by none other than Kane Pixels. It's funny because I finished recording the last three videos the other day. Then, as soon as I was done recording and went on with the rest of my day, I noticed in my sub bar that Kane Pixels uploaded yet another backrooms video. So, I'm finally getting to it. Now that I know that it was out. And I also found out something very interesting last night with my uh, friend John Moji Knight. He's a friend of mine. He, he's in the channel category of my YouTube channel. Um, I didn't realize Kane Pixels was only 16 years old. <laughs> this guy is amazing <laughs> to make videos at that age. Especially high quality videos like this. The hell? And Luna's under my feet like she always is. But... <laughs> With that being said, guys, I'm going to bring to you Backroom's presentation. And with that being said, let's get right into this reaction video in three, two, one, go. I hate this series, but I also love it. <laughs> presentation, here we go. Yeah, little itchy beard. Async. Let's go. What do you want, Luna? She's here. Hmm. A space perspective development. Receptive perspective, I think that's what it said. The world around us is ever-changing. Throughout this past century, we have seen the advent of countless innovations that have completely reshaped life as we know it. But with all of this growth Walk, comes a number of undesirable byproducts. Byproducts that, if left unchecked, have the potential to irreversibly scar our modern world. As human expansion is projected to increase exponentially in the coming decades, we must account for these never-before-faced challenges in ways equally never-before considered. Here at Async, we believe we have found the solution. The Low Proximity Magnetic Distortion System. The back rooms, basically. What is the Low Proximity Magnetic Distortion System? Using 32 will be distributed across all okay. points, allowing for cargo. I, I always forget that the back room, every time I click on the back rooms video, it's a horror video. I always forget that. Because my, my timelines between me reacting to the back rooms and me actually looking at the back rooms in my spare time doesn't exist. <laughs> So basically what I learned from the back rooms is basically what I will react to, guys. Uh, aside from some funny format ones I watch every now and then. Actually, there's a few I need to watch, but I'm not gonna, I don't know if I should react to them. You guys let me know. Uh, Alex Spider being one of them. The YouTuber. Uh, anyway, let's go. And personnel to seamlessly pass through their designated threshold. While our current threshold is limited in scale, future models will be able to span entire rooms, allowing for the transfer of larger vessels and equipment. At least that was the concept between what we've seen from his series, but it actually went south, the experiment. Average value 
storage value. Like infinite. Jesus. Estimated national supply. me that one tiny image on the internet year a few years ago sparked this whole thing the whole thing with the back rooms it just amazes me that one image started this whole thing <laughs> if you guys have never seen the original image of the back rooms just look up back rooms original image in google and you'll find it right away it's so simple that it sparked all of this I find it interesting as well to make a comparison. The back rooms didn't become popular right away when it first came out. It took years later for it to become popular, like Siren Head. Siren Head was the same thing. Siren Head first came out in 2018, but then 2020 is when Siren Head really kicked off with um, its popularity. It's the like same thing here with, uh, with the back rooms, just uh, three years longer. offices also another thing if you guys haven't been keeping up with the uh, backroom series by Kane pixels is that not every single one of his backroom videos or in a timeline order. I found that out by watching uh, Matt Pat's uh, video because I was not paying attention to dates at, during these videos. I was not paying attention. Okay, what? A train? <laughs> All right, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I don't know why the train stuck out as the most weirdest thing for the backgrounds in my mind. inside the back rooms. Concept. Those are real people at the moment, or if they're CGI animated. To me, it currently looks like CGI animated. Archive. I think they're looking down at the at the distortion device. Yeah, they're looking down at the distortion device. That's the, that's the room. And there's the back rooms. animation. It's so hard to tell sometimes. I mean sometimes it's obvious but some but most of the time it's not. I 
Like that, that is CGI. The people. At least I take the precaution of closing it. Night vision. At least they're not <laughs> stupid. The the people running the whole operation. something coming through. Oh, crap! That's the guy that went missing in, in a few in the few videos before. What video was that? I don't remember. Hold on. Uh, it was one of the exploration videos. Hold on, one second. Exploration, exploration, exploration. Informational video, here it is. Is that the same? It's the same guy, right? Yeah, it's the same guy. Oh. It's the same person that went missing a few videos ago. Like I, it's like I said, not every single one of his videos are... <laughs> not every one of his videos are in timeline order. I'm glad I said that earlier on in the video because that that just proves my point and Matt Pat's point <laughs> now it's somehow linking up that guy went missing a long time ago or maybe it was from an alternate reality of the back rooms that he was found himself in I don't know but <sighs> hopefully you guys enjoyed today's reaction video please like and subscribe all that stuff and I will keep up with Kane Pixel's uh, back room story as time goes on and I'll see you in the next video I react to. Bye.